we have a problem. Actually, uh, we have two problems. Here are the problems. Exhibit A and Exhibit B. I've done it again. Hey guys, it's Chloe here. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another video. So guys, yeah, here is Exhibit A and Exhibit B. Yes. I have adopted two very cute baby guinea pigs, um, they're both from different litters, they really needed a home and I am a sucker for a cute face <laughs> and these two both have very cute faces and I'm going to be introducing you guys to these two today and talking a little bit more about these two. So without further ado, let me introduce you to the two brand new members of the Pure Chloe a guinea pig a family. So guys, before I introduce you to these two new ones, I just wanted to say I wasn't planning on adopting them or welcoming them into the family. Um, circumstances happened and they desperately needed a home and I had the space to accommodate them. So that is why I took them in and honestly I'm really happy that I have these two in the family now. They've settled in really well and they have plenty of space to run around and roam and do what they want and all the others, all my other guinea pigs, Topaz, Ruth and Benji and Mika, they got on with them really well which is great news because when I put them all in the garden in the summer that's what I want. I want them to all get along and all be best buddies and best friends. I wasn't planning on, I wasn't looking to get any more guinea pigs. I was actually waiting to see what Mika and Mandy's females produced litter wise and then I was gonna see um, whether I want, liked any of the boars from those litters. Um, but these two were really cute and they really needed a home so I took them in off um, Mandy because she had no use for them breeding wise and she just wanted to see them go to a lovely home where they'd be treated like little princes that they are so that is why I got them I wasn't looking to get any more new guinea pigs but it just kind of happened and you know what um, welcome to the family guys okie dokie guys so this was the first guinea pig that I adopted and he comes from Mandy, Mandy bred him, um, the Mandy that I work with at the pet shop, she breeds guinea pigs and this was one that she bred and I'm going to tell you a little bit about him, he he's, was seven weeks old when I adopted him, he's now eight weeks old, he has been just a little treasure, just been good as gold and honestly it's, I've hardly noticed he's there and what are you doing now? Hmm? What are you doing? You're doing up my nose. Love you too. So yeah, I've hardly ever noticed he's there and he is so adorable. Um, recently I've moved all my boys into a massive free tier guinea pig cage which is 120 centimetres like long each each level and 60 centimetres wide each level. You are not a parrot. Excuse me, you are not a parrot. You are a guinea pig. You do not sit on my shoulder like that. Or you do what you want. <laughs> so yeah, he's a bit of a wriggler, but when he's in like a sleepy mode, he does like snuggling and he does snuggle up to Rufus. Now, why did I get him? Uh, you know, you're thinking, if you weren't going to get any more guinea pigs, why did you adopt him? So, Mandy had no use for him breed wise and she wanted him to go to someone who would treat him like a pet and would give him the life he deserved which was a loving family environment where he'd get loads of loves, loads of cuddles, loads of veg and she was struggling to try and find someone to take him on, take him in and 
At the same time, I'd moved my four boys into this massive free tier cage together. And I noticed that Rufus was getting, you know, sort of left out of it. You know, the others would kind of snuggle together. He'd try and go and snuggle with them and he'd end up getting chased off and he'd end up sleeping on his own. Other than that, they were being like really nice to him. They were just not letting him like snuggle with them. And the problem with Rufus is Rufus is a snuggler. He likes to snuggle with other guinea pigs and he needs that, you know, that little buddy. He's like, can I snuggle up to you tonight? So I noticed he was kind of getting a little bit lonely that way. So I messaged Mand and I was like, I'm not really sure what to do about Rufus. And she suggested that I put a baby guinea pig in because guinea pigs, um, when they're babies, they love to snuggle up to the adults, which was this little guy. So I was like, all right, yeah, I'll take him. And I took him in and pretty much I cleaned out the pen again entirely, scrubbed it all out. And I popped him in because he was a baby and they said, well, in a group situation, he should just take to the, they should just take to the baby, which they did, which I was incredibly lucky they did because usually you don't just plunk a guinea pig into a group, you know, you slowly introduce them. So I popped him in the cage after it had all been washed and cleaned and I actually got a really cute image on the first night we had them, had him anyway. Um... Rufus and him were snuggling together. I will try and put the image up here if I haven't done so already or I will just cut this clip in a minute and you'll just see the cute picture of them. I will try and insert it somewhere into this video. But yeah, he snuggled up to Rufus and Rufus snuggled up to him. So that problem was solved. Rufus had someone to snuggle with. Um, only problem was then I continued to message Mandy and she sent me multiple pictures of other little boys that she either wanted to find homes for or that she was using for breeding and that brings me on to guinea pig number two guinea pig number two this is arlo i named him i was gonna originally name him oreo but i decided at the last minute to change it to arlo because I fell in love with that name and I was like, oh, that's a weird name, like Mika. I like naming my guinea pigs weird and wacky names. I don't like naming them things that other people would name them, like Patch and stuff like that. I don't like common names. I do like to, you know, have very different names. So this is Little Arlo. Now, Mandy did send me a picture of Little Arlo and she originally was going to use him for breeding purposes so she wasn't going to sell him you know, ask me to have him in any way so she was like this one isn't for sale this is one I'm going to use for breeding so I was like okay and she sent me a picture of little Arlo here and I was like oh that's a shame because I've always wanted a black and white Sheltie anyway and that's the breed he is he is a Sheltie and he's currently six weeks old as of next Saturday which will be Saturday the next Saturday which will be the 3rd of February he will then be seven weeks old so he's currently six weeks old and Amandi wasn't originally going to give him away or give him to anyone and I was like oh okay that's fine can you let me know when you get some black shelty babies because I would you know, like one. I've always wanted a black Sheltie anyway. After she sent me a picture of Arlo here, I'll try and pop it up on the screen, these pictures I'm talking about. Uh, I was like, oh, I really want a black Sheltie now. You know, I could I could do with a black Sheltie. I mean, I love Shelties because they've got the long coat and their long coat does need, you know, a little bit of TLC, but I was like, yeah, I could, I could still... I could look after it. I, I don't mind grooming it and stuff like that. I thought, well, that was the end of that. I wasn't going to get Arlo. Um, she wasn't planning on getting rid of him or, you know, trying to find him a new home. And Manly messaged me again. And she goes, I've decided that the black Sheltie that you originally wanted um, needs rehoming. Do you want him? And I was like, I do. I, I do want him. <laughs> I was like, yes, I will take him. My dad was like, are you having another one, another guinea pig? I was like, 
Yes, please. <laughs> I would very much care for another guinea pig. So this is my last guinea pig, which I am actually getting. I After this, when all my other guinea pigs touch wood, it won't be for a few years yet. Pass on. Arlo is the last one I am adopting, I'm taking in. Um, I've decided not to have any if Mika does go for breeding and produces a litter. I've decided not to have any of the babies and just stick with the six I've got at the minute. So I've now got six male guinea pigs which all live together. Last night I fully put him in with the others and he was accepted pretty much straight away into the group. Mika was like, oh, another baby. I must take it under my wing. So Mika's kind of taken a little shine to Arlo, which I am very, very happy about. So Arlo is a full Sheltie. His mum was a Sheltie and his dad was a Sheltie. Home he originally came from, Mandy didn't breed him. She actually rescued him. So she got him off someone else, she was telling me. But this person had allowed him to get mites and um, he was getting all, all his fur was a bit misshapen and where the mites had been biting at him caused some of the fur to fall out. Thankfully, now he is mite free. Um, he's been fully treated by Mandy for mites and now has a brand new forever home with me. And I just love them. I mean, look, look at that little brown mark on Arlo's eye. It looks like he's crying for something brown. <laughs> You're, you're crying mud. I don't think he appreciates that. What about you're crying chocolate? Better? Yeah. So guys, that is this week's video being drawn to a close. I just wanted to introduce you guys to Arlo and to Squeak and, you know, talk a little bit about them and why I've got them. I will be doing a cage tour and cage setup. So if you are interested in getting like a free tier cage for your guinea pigs or for your rabbits or whatever uh, rodents you may have at home, <laughs> I will be doing a full setup video and I will be doing a cage tour video. So look out for those on the channel in the future. But guys, I hope you have enjoyed meeting Arlo and meeting Little Squeak. If you guys have, please leave a massive a thumbs up. Leave some beautiful comments as always down below. I look forward to reading them. And if you haven't yet already, please hit the subscribe button. As I am filming this, we are at 428 beautiful and a fabulous of subscribers. So thank you guys so much for that. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see all you guys next Monday at 5 for another video. Oh, bye bye!